Hey, it's Stephanie. Welcome back to my channel. It's been a little while since I posted a video, but it's for good reason. I was off getting married. My husband and I were finally able to have our ceremony and reception. I was able to do some fun DIY projects for our wedding, and today I'm sharing these wooden pedestals that I made for the ceremony. Now, you can use these pedestals for a wedding or a special event to display flowers like I did, or you can use them in your home to display some nice pottery or artwork, or even to use as end tables. Here's an example I found on McGee & Co's website. They sell these pedestals for $1,376 each. My DIY pedestals only cost $88 in lumber, which is $22 per pedestal. I already had all the tools and some leftover paint, so this project was very inexpensive. Let's get started. For this project, I'm using half inch sand plywood. You can find the tools and materials that I used in the description below. We used the table saw to rip the plywood into 10 inch strips. Next, I used my miter saw to cut the plywood down to size. I made two pedestals that are three feet tall and two pedestals that are two and a half feet tall. So I cut eight plywood pieces at three feet and eight pieces at two and a half feet. I used some wood glue and my brad nailer with one inch brad nails to secure the pieces together. I used a few clamps to hold the pieces together while I secured them with brad nails. Here I'm measuring the top of the pedestals for the last piece of plywood and then I cut those pieces out of some scrap plywood on my miter saw.
to secure the top pieces, I used wood glue and one inch brad nails again. So overall, these pedestals are 10 and a half inches wide by three feet tall and 10 and a half inches wide by two and a half feet tall. Now that the pedestals are constructed, I need to fill all the nail holes. I went a little crazy on brad nails, but I just want to make sure that they're nice and sturdy for the wedding. I took a little putty knife to apply the wood filler to the nail holes as well as any of the seams. After letting the wood filler completely dry, I took my sander and sanded these down completely with 120 grit sandpaper. After all the excess wood filler was sanded down, I took some 220 grit sandpaper to smooth down the entire pedestal. I also sanded every edge and corner so they weren't so sharp. Next, it's time for paint. I had leftover paint from the white trim in my house, so that's what I'm using here. This white paint has a satin finish, which really gives these pedestals a nice high-end finish. After the first coat of paint, the pedestals were still kind of rough, so I took some 220 grit sandpaper and sanded all the pedestals over again. I ended up doing three coats of paint, lightly sanding in between each coat. And there you have it. These pedestals were very easy to make, very inexpensive to make, and if you do it right, you can make them look high end. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and go check out what I'm up to over on Instagram at home with Stephanie. Thank you.